Hello my fellow hunters, today I want to talk about the best weapons in the Monster Hunter Rise game version 1.1.1 or 1.1.2 You know today is the Dev Diary and version 2.0 comes out so I want to talk about the best possible weapons before the update is out so you can see okay uh, there are some changes after the update or whatever uh, this site is also going to be updated until you submit enough runs for this web page. Um, yes, I picked up from all the world records from the best times there was um, someone who submitted in the last days more than 190 world records. So thanks a lot for that work. I've seen you he was busy several hours and yes thanks a lot you also typed in all the weapons that was used so that saved me a lot of work now i can make this video and talk about yes for every monster for every weapon in high rank um tier 6 and tier 7 i know with the 2.0 update we got tier 8 quests and i want to talk about yes the best possible weapons whatever what's best what's better raw or elemental First of all, we made the easy stuff. Oh, I forgot, um, I write a Latin name here. One second, please. So I forgot to write a Japanese language for the great sword. Okay, we can make it easy and we can say, okay, for great sword, lance, hammer, for charge blade, it's 50-50. It's not 100% per percent sure and for insect clave we can say okay raw weapons are by far the best so let's start with the easy way uh, with the easy stuff and then go into the more tricky way first of all insect clave on every world record they're using the narga kuga insect clave because of the dodge move you deal more than 300 or 400 damage if you have white sharpness you can crit crit you can put in crit boost in your sets and yes that's the way why insect clave is so good you don't need so much crit skill you have your affinity 30 percent white sharpness weakness exploit 90 percent maybe latent power if you have a sinuga armor part and yes you can fit in critical boost level 2 yes that's the way how to play insect clave actually then uh, also with the hammer always use the naga kuga hammer there was sometimes no run submitted so they are gray the cells yes okay now go further to the lance sometimes diablos lance is better or sometimes naga kuga but it seems to be that the best way is to play the diablos lance um with um Bloodshunner, but if you're fighting against some monsters like Narga Kuga, you can see it here. Um, Narga Kuga has hot parts like the wings, and with green sharpness, you bounce off. You need mine's eye, so yes, if you're fighting monsters with hot pots, I recommend using the Narga Kuga lens. Okay, that's with lens. Now go further to the Great Sword. You can see nearly in every quest they're using the, also the Narga Kuga Great Sword, but in some quests, also the Gosarak Great Sword. Um, yes, and sometimes um, only one quest Magna Molo, I think because of the Rampage skill, but because you deal more damage when you have the high Hellfire status, and yes, that makes sense, using the Magna Molo Great Sword. Okay, now come on, I talk about uh, bow guns at last, because I'm not... Uh, yes, my knowledge is very barely about bowguns, so I don't want to, um, yes, go into deep about bowguns. I'm not a bowgun channel, I am for, uh, yes, for blade master weapons, not for range weapons, okay? You know that. So you can think about yourself when seeing the bowguns, you can say, okay, late bowgun. Best light bowgun is Magna Molo, light bowgun by four, but you can also use a lot of elemental light bowguns if you are fighting against Almudron, Diablos, whatever, very elemental weakness monsters. Yes, and a heavy bowgun by four, I think, Feline bowgun is by far the best, and for bow, Engine F bow is pretty good. Also Flying Kadachi bow I saw on a run, and yes, by far the best bow is the Rampage bow, okay. 
Now let's start with the weapon classes especially. Okay, you can say for Longsword, the Rhine Blossom Longsword is by far the best. It's an Ice Longsword. You can see it was used on every Ice Weakness monster, but I think it's very viable. You can also use it on the Almutron. Almutron has the highest weakness for fire, but there is there are also some good fire longswords like the Rathalas or the Fairfit longsword from Anjanef. So I think both fire longswords or longswords are not bad. But Almodron's also weak to ice. So yes. It was also used for Xenogre, so there are a lot of ice weakness monsters in tier six and tier seven. So yes, Rhine Blossom, Xenogre Longsword is or way for the best longswords. I'm very happy to see that only Freenor Kakuga longsword uses. Yes, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go on with uh, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is also very mixed. At half of, half of the quest, they are using Norga Kuga Sword and Shield, but it also seems to that Sinogra weapons are most way better than the Rajang weapons, like also for Sword and Shield, and also <laughs> it's very interesting um, that they are you that the uh, Mitsutsune Sword and Shield is pretty good. It's also the only Mitsutsune weapon used for world records. There is no you can you can maybe remember the Mitsutsune Switch X. It seems to be pretty bad because you can see here the Almudron um Switch X seems to be better, but yes, it seems to be that the Mitsutsune weapons are pretty unusable or not strong enough. <laughs> yes. So you can see also it's pretty mixed. Also, they are sometimes using Rajang or Zenogre. It depends on how the hit zones value of the monsters are. If the monsters are weaker for raw hit zone values, use Zenogre, and if they are more weakness to element and have bad raw hit zone values, you can use the Rajang weapons. Yes, for dual blades we can say yes. Okay, Xenogre and Enjanef are by far the best elemental dual blades. Yes, there are actually no water dual blades used. Okay, that's very interesting because maybe it's the reason because there is no Enjanef run submitted. Also, Rowaga dual blades for dragon element. Yes. And Gosarak dual blades are also used three times. So you can see it in Sword and Shield dual blades, it's pretty mixed. We talked about lawns. For gun lawns, there are three different gun lawns that's mainly used. They are also one run with the Admiral's air balance, but I'm no gun lensman, so I don't can give you details about that. But it seems to me by far the Rathian gun lance is the best. Yes, that is the Raytheon Gunlands, and oh, I am at the wrong wiki, I can... Okay, that was the correct. Um, this is a Poison Gunlands, which a good chunk of, of green sharpness, in general of the sharpness is not bad, <coughs> if you're playing on Blood Channel. Um, yes, and you have normal shelling level 5 on that Gunlands, and uh, we can also Maybe look how good is the howlitzer. Sorry, howlitzer. Okay, howlitzer is long shelling level five. Okay. So it seems to be that howlitzer is from Nargakuga. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's go further to the hunting horn. I think by way the best hunting horn is the rampage hunting horn because of the melodies you can give your attack boost and affinity boost which is pretty cool because of the melodies and also the wild grunt Just give me a second wild grunt okay a uh, wild grunt has 230 true relevant um, how does I call it? Um, true raw? Yes, and it's by far the best true raw you can have. You can also have extra deco slot. For switch X, I think switch X is by far the most interesting weapon besides dual blades. 
I think it's the most interesting weapon of all. So you can see there is a bunch of different weapons used. There are so much different weapons used. Um, the Barrier of Switch X, the Engineer, the Conquerors, the Diablo Switch X, the Zinogre, the, um, the Rajang, the Narga Kuga, the Fall Truck, Troche, the Olmudron, and yes, if I counted correctly, that was eight different weapons. And yes, <laughs> Switch X is the most, um, yes, the, the weapon used on most different ways. So it's very hard to say there this is the best switch axe or whatever, but it seems to be that for elemental, ice elemental monsters, Barrier is the best. And yes, for Thunder Weakness, if they are living in wet areas like Mitsutsune or Zamnakan, Sinokura is the best because of the ramp rampage skill. And yes, you can also use Rajang if they don't live in water. Um, for Charge Blade, by far. Nargakuga is the best, but the only elemental way you play charge blade is, I think, thunder. On every other weakness you play Nargakuga, and if the monster has a thunder weakness, you can use the thunder charge blade from Zinogre or Rajang. Okay, I don't talk about bowguns. I, I don't have a good knowledge about uh, ammos, ammo types, capacity, whatever, so you can maybe search for Angbada. I think he's a better source for gun lands. Okay, that was it actually about the, the most famous or the best weapons actually in the game. Okay, in 15 minutes there is a live stream, so I have to take care of that uploading this video, and yes. Um, Maybe next time I talk about the new upgraded tier list that changes a lot and yeah, see you next time.